Hi, I'm Yasiro Katsumata, a mythologist who specializes in, the, the, in ancient Greco-Roman myths. And the topic of this series of lectures is myth. But why should we study myth? Because uh, myths will enrich uh, our life. Uh, by studying myths, uh, we can feel happy and we can make others feel happy. And today, today uh, I'm going to address the general question of what is a myth? Uh, everyone knows the word myth, but it would be difficult to clearly define it. But let me give it a try. Uh, some would say uh, myth is an illogical story, and others would say myth is an escapist fantasy, and others would say Miss is a, a fairy tale concocted for children. These answers are all partly correct, but not, they are not the whole story. Uh, miss is a serious object of exploration. Uh, miss is more serious than we might think. To explain this, uh, I'm going to look at the history of mythology. Uh, Mythology is uh, relatively, relatively new as a, a discipline, uh, as an academic discipline. It said that it started at the middle of the 19th century. Uh, scholars uh, are interested in uh, the relationship between myth and nature. So, for example, uh, Friedrich Max Miller, uh, he, worked in, he worked in uh, uh, Greek and Indian myths. And in his view, uh, Greek and Indian myths represent uh, uh, the movement of the sun. And another uh, famous scholar, Edward Barnett Tyler, uh, he's an a anthropologist, and he's uh, famous for his idea of uh, animism. And animism is a kind of personification of natural world. And in Tyler's view, a myth is a kind of animism. So, let me repeat, uh, these scholars are interested in the relationship between myth and nature. But on the other hand, uh, at the beginning of 20th century, uh, people saw the huge change of interest about myth. And in this period, uh, scholars are interested in myth and the human beings. So, for example, Bronislaw Malinowski, uh, he is an anthropologist, and he did his fieldwork uh, at the island of New Guinea. And in his view, myth is a kind of charter, and charter means a, a rule book. And another famous scholar, Zygmunt Freud, and he is a founder of a psychoanalysis. Uh, he is a, a, a doctor of psychology, and he is interested in the uh, true feelings of his patients and uh, by to understand the true feelings of human beings scholars at the 20th century are interested in myth and human beings so uh, there is a difference culminated in the study of joseph campbell and uh, he's a, a, a famous American scholar uh, of mythology. And he's famous for his uh, study of hero myths. And uh, this is uh, the title of his book, The Hero with Thousand Faces. And in this book, uh, he analyzed uh, uh, many, many kinds of myths in the world. He found a regular pattern uh, among them. So in his view, uh, all hero myths consist of three stages. One, departure. Two, initiation. And lastly, three, uh, return. So, uh, a hero uh, first leaves his uh, uh, original places, his familiar places. And then he experienced it. Uh, he entered into another world. And there he experienced a change in himself initiation. And finally, he returned to the place he originally uh, lived, uh, returned. <clears throat> so, uh, 
in Campbell's uh, phraseology, uh, this regular pattern, departure, initiation, and return, uh, is hero's journey. Hero's journey. And his theory of hero's journey helps us realize uh, of the universality of myth. And to make this idea clearer, uh, I, will be I, I will be introducing an interesting book, uh, Christopher Bogler's Writer's Journey. And in this book, uh, he, tried to, he tries to apply uh, Campbell's myth to the famous movies such as The Titanic and The Lion King. And in his view, uh, in these movies, we can find a regular pattern of departure, initiation, return that uh, Campbell uh, proposes. And furthermore, uh, George Lucas, uh, he's a famous uh, screen director, and he's also a friend of Joseph Campbell. And uh, we all know that he, made, he created Star Wars. And especially the, the original trilogy, episode four, five, and six, uh, the hero is Luke Skywalker. Uh, George Lucas also used uh, Campbell's theory to uh, make his movie uh, more interesting. So uh, our hero is Luke Skywalker. And uh, my point is that, my point is, uh, the relationship between Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, the son and the father. So first, uh, Luke Skywalker does not know he, who uh, his real father is. Uh, and then he entered into the space world. So he experienced the departure. And next, in the space world, he comes across Darth Vader, uh, his father. Uh, and uh, he realizes that Darth Vader is his own father. So a uh, kind of initiation. And finally, uh, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader battles. And Luke realizes that Darth Vader is his own father. And Darth Vader is the enemy of uh, human beings. Uh, but Luke Skywalker forgives the guilt, the guilt of his uh, father. So, and return to the original world, uh, return. So clearly, it's clear that George Lucas used the uh, theory of uh, the hero's journey. And another contribution uh, Campbell made to uh, our understanding of myth is the power of myth. And he, uh, Campbell encourages us to read uh, hero myths. And in hero myths, as I say, uh, we can find the regular pattern, departure, uh, initiation, return. And uh, the heroes in the myth becomes uh, a, a greater person. So, by leading these myths, uh, we leaders too uh, become a, a better person. So, Campbell calls this, uh, this phenomenon, this situation, uh, power of myth. So, let me recapitulate today, uh, the, uh, today's talk. Our question is, what is a myth? And, uh, to answer this question, uh, we need to look at uh, history of mythology. And the history of mythology consists of two stages, uh, 19th century and 20th century. And in the 19th century, scholars are interested in uh, the relationship between myth and nature. In other words, they are interested in a in, uh, sorry, uh, outside uh, human beings. On the other hand, uh, scholars in the 20th century uh, are interested in myths and human beings. Uh, to put it another way, they are interested in the inside human beings. So, uh, we, there we, uh, we can see the uh, huge shift of uh, interest of, uh, about myths. 
Uh, and uh, this positive view of myth culminated in the study of Joseph Campbell. And uh, he emphasized that uh, myth tells us uh, human beings, myth tells us about human beings, myth tells us about who we are. A very, very serious question. So, uh, myth is uh, not a illogical story. Myth is not an escapist fantasy. Myth is not a, a fairy tale concocted for children. Uh, myth is rather a serious object of exploration. So, that is why we need to, ta we need to take myth seriously.